Give me the ball. Hey, give me the ball. Give, me, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Come here. Come, Come get here. it. Come get it. Come here. Come here. Get it. Right here. Sit. 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 Go get it. Welcome back to a, another very exciting episode of Fishing with Flair today. Will not be fishing because it's Oh, you can't see my breath. It's cold though. It, it was about 40 degrees today and actually raining for most of the day, a little bit windy. Now it's kind of calmed down. I'm with Austin hanging out with his dog playing fetch. Before let's get started, check this out. As you guys can see right there, that says Ducks Water Frog Co. Yes, we are now selling dog collars. So with that being said, if you guys have a pupper, uh, go check out the website. I'll link it down below. We got a whole bunch of new stuff, all, all kinds of paracords we got. Two different styles of landers. We have gun traps, game toads, dog collars, a whole bunch of new designs, fun stuff. But today we're going to do something different. Now I know Peric, Peric threw some shade at me because in my normal top five seasonal fishing baits videos, I make them 10 minutes long and I go super in depth, which I feel like you guys like, but maybe you don't like it. Maybe you find it kind of boring. So we're going to do something different. Stay tuned until the end of this video to learn how to win all the products that I'm going to be purchasing today. We're going to run to a tackle retailer. I'm going to show you my top five favorite fall fishing baits, and I'm going to purchase them there brand new and then give them to one of you guys, send them all to you guys. I'm not even just going to pick five baits. I'm going to pick five types of lures and then a whole bunch of baits. It's going to be a lot of money, uh, and then I'll send it to one of you guys. So make sure you stay tuned to the end to figure out how you want to enter that contest. We are going to run to a place. And uh, so stay tuned. I'm going to try to give you guys some tips. This is going to be a relaxed vlog instead of just sitting down and going over bait after bait and explaining it. I'm going to do it walking through a retailer trying not to get kicked out. And if they get kicked out, please never shop there. All right, let's go. 20 minutes later. Camera. Oh, okay. Just, just filming a YouTube video is all. Oh, is it not to be returned? No, not to be returned. Not return. Nope. Oh, no, that's fine. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh man, almost got kicked out, dodged a bullet. Oh yeah, we got lures, we're good to go. So I think, I think what I'm gonna do is pick, again, like I said, five styles of baits. And actually, I'm with Austin. This dude doesn't know anything about fishing. I'm gonna let him pick what five lures he thinks will catch fish, and then I'll send those to you guys too. I don't know why I just said that, because it'll probably cost me a bunch of money, but he'll probably pick out some like <laughs> freaking, some freaking mega bass or some crazy ass. <laughs> Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's start. Let's start early fall. My go-to early fall. Normally, normally I like a uh, I like a chatterbait, but in the fall, for some crazy reason, for some reason, instead of using chatterbaits, I find spinnerbaits to be to work actually a little bit better. So we'll pick out a couple different spinnerbaits here. The reason why I say this is because a spinnerbait imitates like a group of bait fish because it has like a big blade, a small blade usually, it depends, and then the skirt itself. I'll probably get copyrighted for this music. Mother. So let's see, we're gonna get we're gonna get one of these. Some get some free promotion to uh to Buha. Get one of those. White and chartreuse is a pretty solid. I'll get a small one. So we got like something something for ponds. Just quarter ounce. So I got a half ounce quarter ounce. So that's that's good on spinner baits. Um so let's see so we're moving from September you know, October, probably still want some moving baits. Um, let me think about this. So bass are usually moving up shallow. Uh, they're not super shallow, so you probably want a few crank baits. I'm a huge fan of square bills, so I might get a couple square bills, and let's see if I can find some square bills that don't look like sh like those. Oh, there's some square bills. So like I said, they usually chase shad, and if your lake doesn't have shad, it doesn't matter. I catch so many fish on white shad colored baits, even though my lakes don't have much shad. So we'll go with, let's see, let's see if we can find a, find a decent color here. So we'll go with a small little 1.5, like sexy shad looking color one. That's one color, and then maybe you guys don't have that, so let's find a bluegill colored one. Little bluegill, bluegill, or something. So we got bluegill, so we got spinner baits and square bills. Pretty good, ooh, another one. I don't know if this will even be my top five, this is just gonna be some baits for you guys to win. Jerk baits, jerk baits are key. 
I don't think they have Mega Bass, which I was actually going to be nice to you guys and buy Mega Bass, which for those of you guys who don't know what that is, it's like a $30 jerk bait, $25 jerk bait. But we'll go with we'll go with some old Strike King. Give them some free promotion because why not? That's a really good color right there. That's got like a what is this called? Pro blue. Pro blue is key. So when that water gets cold, like cold, cold, like below 50, jerk baits are very, very good. And then let's see, I guess some find something with uh Pro Blue is good, and then something with some flash. We got, God, these are nine dollars. You gotta be kidding me. Something with some flash, some gold, gold flash, or something like that. That'll, that'll work. All right, so we got jerk baits, square bills. Ooh, right here, jigs. Definitely jigs for a. I still need a top water bait. I'll, I'll give you guys a top water bait for sure. Jigs are one of my all-time favorite baits. Catches a lot of fish, but fall is when jigs really, really come to play because one, shadow dying, so you can kind of drag like a shad colored one on the bottom make it look like a uh, a dying shad bluegills and crawfish and all that fun stuff so we'll get a few colors here some finesse ones are not a bad not a bad choice to go with the finesse jig so i'll, I'll give you two finesse jigs uh black and blue that's one of my go-to colors black and blue is just i don't know for some reason it, it always it, it always catches fish for me um let's see do they have any decent football head jigs they got a finesse football not not quite what i'm after here swim jigs eh. I like dragging stuff on the bottom in the fall, so the swim jig's not quite what I'm after here. These these should work here. Let's find find something brown like. Here's uh here's a a crawl looking one, bankroll jig in money color. Just something that looks like a bluegill crawfish. We got black and blue. I'll give you another one. So we'll get we'll do we'll do three. So we what else are we missing? PB and J is a dope color. PB and J. So you guys get that. Why am I spending so much money? I don't know. Um so yes, jig. Top water though. You guys, I know you guys are gonna want some top waters. What top waters would I use in the fall? So Again, they're usually chasing shad. You can go with a spook, popper. Oh, you guys are killing me. You guys better throw a like on this video. Actually, stay tuned, and I'll, and I'll tell you how to win these. I'll give you guys a plop daddy. I don't know why I'm doing it. These things are 17 freaking dollars, but we're going to do it anyway. $17. Give you guys a bone plop daddy, my all-time favorite color. No, I wouldn't say color. This and the, and the white one are my favorite, but the plop daddy you guys have seen me use so many times. We'll do that. God, that one kills. Holy um, and um, let's see, what else can I give you? Buzzbait, probably. So we got, I guess those, no, buzzbaits are pretty much the same thing as a plopper. Let's do a, let's do a walking bait here. Let's find something more for pond. So if somebody wins this and they don't, they don't have giant bass, we could go with, all right, I'll, I'll do three top waters. We'll do, uh, that saltwater hooks for some stupid ass reason. Why does it have saltwater hooks? There we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. We get a little little spook junior, so that way something a little bit smaller for those of you guys that maybe have ponds and stuff. Um, is that really five already? That, I feel like that that went really really fast. So um, I'm gonna let him pick out. I'll take the cart, basket or something. So let's let's do a recap. We got ploppers and spooks. That's the top water. We got like three different kinds of jigs. Uh, that's two. We got jerk baits, square bills, and what was the first one that I got? A spinner bait. Spinner bait. Those are my top five favorite fall fishing lures. Now we are going to have, um, now we're gonna have Austin pick out five lures. Hopefully he plays it easy on me. Doesn't get anything too expensive. Here we go. What are you looking at, so that sunfish? Yeah. Just cause it's $13, no, huh? I was gonna go for the cheaper one. There oh, was, they do have it cheap. There was cheap. one, Wait, yeah, why do they this have one it right so here. Cheap? I'm going this sunfish. Why do they have that at $5? Okay. Why not? Okay. You really think, okay, All right, whatever. I'm, I'm going cheap. I, five dollars, five dollars. Yeah. You guys get a sunfish, yeah. that's dope, okay. All right, so what else? I'm surprised you didn't grab the uh, $16 duck. Because I'm sure that's going to catch a lot of fish duck. in the fall. No. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Are you really going to get that? Yep. Okay. All right. Yep. Whatever. I feel bad Some for those of you guys. Swim are baits. These. Some swim baits. Dude, are those holographic? Those are for sure catching oh, yeah. PB. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed PB. Okay. All right. This looks good. That looks good to you. What is that? <laughs> is that a rainbow trout? Yeah. I'd, if I was a fish, I'd for sure eat this. Rainbow rainbow trout yeah. swim bait. All right, that's that's three. Looking at some crankbaits. Oh, yeah. This looks pretty colorful. What is that? A flicker minnow? Yeah. That's actually not a bad bait. I mean, that's that's really not that bad. I'd I'd, I'd bite that if I was a fish. Okay, you got you got one more. One more. You better make it count. Did you guys move uh, all your plastics? Yeah. Do you have any? Yeah, they're all they're all down there on the other side of the section. They're on the you other end. You know where the worms are. I the, do. The I do. Yeah, they're all right next to Perfect. Okay. Well, they just moved them. You won't you won't send them the uh, the bubble gum sankos, the pink ones. Oh, the pink ones. No, Ooh. don't don't do it. Don't do it. We got these people need to catch some yeah. fish. 
right here. What color is that? I've never used that watermelon laminate. That's actually a dope looking yeah, color. Look at that. Of course, you got to go with the Yamamoto. You oh, know, yeah. make me spend money. Yep. There you have it, folks. That is Austin's five. So you did, let's see, Sanko, Flicker Minnow, some trash swim bait. <laughs> uh, what else did you do? The Sunfish, which is actually dope. We only got it for five bucks. Uh, what else? There's one more thing. What am I missing? And then uh, some holographic swim baits. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. All this will go to you guys. We're gonna go check out, but now you guys are probably wondering, Flair, how do we enter to win all this? Great question. So a couple things you gotta do. You have to like this video. You for sure have to like it. You gotta drop a comment down below. So if you guys, let me, let me give you guys a little bit of criteria here. If you are a fisherman, only a fisherman, comment some video suggestions. What do you want me to see me do? If you are a hunter of any kind, comment what products you want ducks to make and sell because we're going to make them better and sell them for cheaper than anybody out on the market like we currently are doing. That's what Austin actually, Austin and I actually came here for was to look for products at here, at where we're at and <laughs> to, uh, to find some stuff that we kind of like and we want to basically make better than, than what's currently out there and to sell it for cheaper than, than what's currently out there. So comment down below if you are a hunter, if you're a duck hunter, deer hunter, any hunter, what your comment has to be is a product suggestion for what products you want us to make and sell. If you're just fishermen, you, have no, you know nothing about hunting, then obviously that wouldn't do any good. So comment what videos you guys want to see. That's what you got to do. Like the video, drop a comment down below. Now, Austin and I, we're going to go, we're going to go mess around. Is there an arcade game here? Oh yeah. There's an arcade game here. You guys want to watch me go play uh, video games? Here we go. Oh, it's game time. You guys ready for this? Where's the button? <laughs> Bull. Stop. Oh, I did it. Miss. Oh, I hit it. I you hit missed it. the second time. Lies. <laughs> All right, sniper shot. Here we go. Got it. What are you shooting at, Bill? I don't know. All right. There it is. There it is. We got three shots left. Out. Smoked him. 130. 130. All right, can you beat 130? Oh, easily. Give me the tokens. Wow, somebody's a little confident in themselves. <laughs> What was that? I don't know. Yeah, you just take me all these close shots, some bull. Oh, that's a crap. Dang, you suck. Y'all suck. Go for some snipe shots, bro. You want me snipe? This one's broke. Boy. Boy! It's supposed to be a one right there. No, this is my score right here. No! Yeah, that's my score. I was on this one. It was just counting on over one. That is a lie. <laughs> well, that was um, depressing now that I am $122 more poor than I was prior to coming here. Uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's something different, uh, something quick. I'm actually leaving the States. I've got a 6 a.m. flight to go somewhere. Somewhat secretive, I'm not gonna tell you guys. But I am, uh, yeah, I'm leaving the country for a few days. Just just by myself, I don't honestly know what I'm doing or who I'm gonna be with or where I'm going or anything. I just know it's not gonna be in the United States. So that's all I'm doing. If you guys want, like I said, if you want $122 worth of overpriced Cabela's lures, then uh, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below. If you're a fisherman, I would, I would appreciate if you suggested a video. If you're a hunter, I would appreciate if you suggested a product that we sell uh, we'll make it better and cheaper than the competition. That is, that is our goal at Ducks. And you have to like the video, and of course, you know, subscribe. Don't, don't forget to, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Anyways, I'm gonna head home, eat some food, pack, because I've gotta get up around 4 a.m. to fly to. So, thanks for watching, folks. Peace.